California still reeling from heavy storms that led to several deaths over the weekend. And pressure is on in Oroville as emergency crews are working around the clock to shore up that badly damaged concrete spillway ahead of more storms that could spark another evacuation. Alicia Acuna is there and joins us live with the latest. All right, Alicia, what can you tell us about the water levels there this morning? Good morning, Shannon. Well, I can tell you that the Water Authority here, the Department of Water Resources, has said that they've gotten it down to 849 feet above sea level. That's significant. They were working on getting it below 850 over the weekend, so they have hit that goal. We're going to push off so you can take a look at Lake Oroville here. What they needed to do was bring that water level down in anticipation of this storm that is now hitting this region and is supposed to bring up to 10 inches of rain. They needed the room in the reservoir so that it didn't add additional pressure to the dam. We're going to push over here and you can see here's the Oroville Dam. You see those lights on there. Those are the crews that have been working around the clock. As you've mentioned, they've been trying to shore up the, both the main spillway as well as that cement um, emergency spillway. And we have video that was provided to us by the Department of Water Resources that shows the damage that has been done to that spillway. And you see this gray area. That is the cement slurry that they have been working since last week to pour in and kind of shore up that area because the erosion was so bad and so dangerous that it prompted those evacuations last Sunday of 188,000 people. So right now, I don't know if you can tell Shannon back here live that it's pretty windy out here right now and what we have been seeing all week is helicopters in the air helping drop some of the supplies down and some of the rocks. We're checking to see if the helicopters are even going to go up this morning because the wind is so strong. They're under a wind warning in this whole area. The, the work continues as the rain is coming in. Hmm. Shannon. And, and we've talked about, and you mentioned a possibility of another round of evacuations. Does it seem likely? Yeah, the sheriff's office has told the residents of Oroville and all the communities below to be ready for the possibility of another round of mandatory evacuations. The hope is that that likelihood will remain low. They just don't know. So a lot of the people who live there say they remain packed. Their cars are packed. They're ready to go. Some people are still in some of the evacuation centers from last week because they didn't want to head home and have to turn around and leave again. In addition to all that, this entire region is under a storm warning and a flood warning. That means that a number of communities are set to go under evacuation should this storm get that bad. That's separate from what's mm. happening here in Oroville. So you could see all of these communities hitting the highways, hitting the freeways at the same time. Yeah, Shannon. And that creates other issues. All right, Alicia, thank you so much for the update. Right.